What's up guys, my name is Kim Sensei and welcome to 5 scary videos that will make you punch your screen. Let's hope that I don't end up punching my screen because I actually need this to work. I've decided I'm going to be doing more reaction videos pretty often from this point on. So if you are new to the channel and do like my reactions, please remember to leave a like and subscribe and then turn the bell on down below so you'll be notified whenever I upload. This video is by Newt's Top 5 who's actually really creeps me out believe it or not if you've been here before you know i am a wuss but when it comes to videos movies tv shows etc it, it, it it's got to be something good it's got to be something creepy nuke does a pretty good job of that so if you enjoy this video make sure to please go and show some love and check out his channel too with that being said let's get into it top five ghosts call on camera ghosts of carmel maine I featured in the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel Maine many times on Nuke's Top 5, so I won't go through a full recap. But put simply, Kent Burris says that he lives in a very haunted house and has recorded many strange supernatural encounters in his home. The I don't want to know what that was. With while living in this house, and one of the most frightening encounters are in fact apparitions. Son of a Oh, oh my! or do something. Oh my! One night, while sleeping, there was a loud bang in the bedroom that woke me up. I started hearing faint voices. So I picked up my cell phone camera and started recording. One night, Ken hears voices coming from downstairs and records as he heads down to investigate. He is not prepared for what he finds waiting in the dark first floor TV room. What the hell are you? What was that? As Kent walks into the pitch black room, the TV has somehow turned itself on. Now this might explain the voices, but as he pans his camera around the room, a dark shape suddenly appears right in front of the television screen. The shadow figure seems to collapse into itself as it disappears right in front of his eyes. What the hell are you? I did not go back to sleep that night. So did Kent capture yet another shadow apparition in his haunted house? You decide. You can watch this full documentary over on the YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. I've seen that dude on the channel Checking multiple out times. Early. Right? I would never. Rocky fitness trainer Mustafa from the YouTube channel Mustafa Altai says that he heard a strange story about a family who had fled their home in Iraq many years ago because a sinister gen began haunting their home. The house has been left abandoned for over 60 years, as the family says they couldn't find anyone willing to rent or buy the cursed property. Mustafa goes to investigate the house with his friend Salar to see if the spooky stories are true, and it did not go well. As the two explorers are about to enter the house, they have no idea that something seems to be watching them. I'm not sure what those sound was. Now, oh, it's wait. certainly a bit hard right. to see, but when the video is slowed down and enhanced, a very strange figure can be seen standing at the window. Now, it's unclear exactly what this bizarre shape could be, but when Mustafa's camera... Yo, whose man's is that? The dark figure has disappeared. It was like a head. The Who's man is that? Enter the house, things only get weirder. The two friends hear strange sounds coming from the staircase. They go to investigate, and this happens. I'd be scared too. That's just rude. You're going upstairs? Nah, nah, she said, nah, bro, I'm leaving. She said she gone. She, she not stayed. She not stayed up there. 
An empty paint bucket is thrown from somewhere above them, barely missing the two explorers. Mustafa runs upstairs to see where it came from, but his friend Salar heads for the exit. Eventually, Mustafa convinces Salar to come back, my best. but after Salar's hearing on more scary, my unexplained best. sounds, they both decide to leave. Mustafa uploads his video to YouTube, and many of his viewers want to see more. In the video comments, his fans dare him to go back and actually spend the night in the haunted house. So, Mustafa agrees. He returns to the house, determined to stay the night, this time all alone. Mustafa sets up a few static cameras in one of the rooms and attempts to settle in for the night. But before long, Mustafa's night takes a terrifying turn. Yo, there's no way I would ever do this. I don't care how many people tell me to do it. I'm not going. Salar had the right idea. He left. Loud Strange moans and loud bangs keep Mustafa on the edge and unable to rest. But little does he know, things are about to get even creepier. Yeah, that's made me jump a little bit. You for real? I like how he's sleeping right by the front Sitting door. on top of the fireplace seems to move on its own. Then as if propelled by an invisible force, it violently crashes to the ground, nearly landing on Mustafa's head. Understandably, Mustafa is now freaked out. Pretty he's sure only been inside the house a little over an hour. It would have got you. He decides to put an early end to his overnight investigation. But now here's where things get really creepy. Because the uh -huh. most terrifying part of Mustafa's stay inside the house isn't even what he saw or heard with his own eyes and ears. You see, his static cameras caught video of something strange that he wasn't even aware of. Something downright chilling. What happened? <laughs> I don't get it. I'll get it. I swear I just saw something in the background. Am I tripping? Did you see it? As Mustafa is repositioning his static camera, a dark figure appears oh. behind him on the staircase. <laughs> it slowly moves down the stairs without making a sound, and then disappears out of sight. But this isn't the only time Mustafa captured this creepy figure during his nighttime stay. Yo, whose kid is that? Again, a dark, very bizarre figure quickly appears behind Mustafa, not once, but twice. Hey, why why did the, why did the djinn run past like a Scooby-Doo villain? <laughs> next, next, I'm done. Okay. Could it be that he captured the djinn that haunts the home on camera? 
whatever it is, it seems to change shape, size, and even transparency. So just what is this? Let me know what you think. You can check out Mustafa's full two-part video investigation of the house over on his YouTube channel, Mustafa Altai. The Haunted Ancient Ram Inn. With a past as dark as the Ancient Ram Inn, it's not surprising that it is said to be the most haunted building in all of England. The mysterious inn was built I'm, way I'm, back I'm in sorry. the year 1145 on top of a pagan burial ground and it served as the home to slaves, masons, and workers. In the 1500s, a woman hid out in the building before she was captured and burned as a witch. Years later, the innkeeper's daughter is said to have hung herself in the attic. And as oh, if wow. all that wasn't creepy enough, the decaying remains of sacrificed children were found buried under the inn's floor. Okay. The ancient what, Ram what, Inn what, is said what, to be so hell? violently Wait, haunted what? that when the building was sold to John Humphreys in 1968, his wife and daughters absolutely refused to live there. They moved out, leaving John Humphreys all alone to live in the house. So, British paranormal investigators Sean Kenna, Sean Owen, and Carl Hassel from the YouTube channel Dark Territory traveled to the Haunted Inn to investigate the multiple claims of paranormal activity. During their investigation, they hear bizarre, unexplained sounds, and Sean feels something touching his leg. Already, as soon as we're about to begin filming the investigation, something draws our attention upstairs. Why is this building still, like, a thing? This place Sean should have been torn down two, three hundred years ago. Did you work at the inn? Dude, upstairs. Go, go. Yeah, I've just heard what sounded like movements up here. Is this where you are? Are you the witch? They call this room the witch's room, so we only assume that you, the witch, you're you're felt in here. Did anyone hear the voice a second ago before you said you're felt in here? No. Which you're. You're felt in here. Which you're. You're felt in here. Uh, mm, yeah. I don't know if it's a voice or it was like a. Like a cat. Yeah. Okay. yeah. No warnings whatsoever. Did you used to sleep in this bed, witch? I'll tell you, this is the. <laughs> I don't think he was dressed as a witch as witch. Later, as Sean Kenna and Sean Owen are exploring on the second floor, things get even stranger. What little room are you hiding in? Come on, show yourself. I'm sure you're not afraid of me and Owen. I think it's an error. Guys, the door just opened. What the a door to the attic opens on its own and the team can't find any explanation for the strange occurrence. There was no draft and the team had been walking back and forth past the door many times without it making any movement whatsoever. Now since it has always been said that dark spirits and entities supposedly quote, feed off fear, the team decides to do an experiment to see if the emotion of fear will trigger even more paranormal activity. That so they bold. tie up and blindfold team member Carl and put him in one of the beds in the bishop's room. This room is said to be the most supernaturally active. If you think I am going to come to a near thousand year old, like, what, what is this, a house, tavern, hotel, what? If you think I'm about to come here, where people, where children have been sacrificed, people were known to kill themselves, and families were too afraid to even sleep by the front door, like dude was doing at the beginning of the video, could even do that? And you wanna tie me up on a bed and leave me there? For a video? First, first flight back to the US? At first, nothing really happens, and as time passes, Carl seems to grow more and more impatient. But then, Things take a terrifying turn. Hey yo, the fast forward skipping part of that is really, really creepy. Touch me leg. 
Swim some touch my leg, bro. Something's not there. And the fact that they're just sitting there like, hmm, interesting. Keep doing that and see see what else happens. What? Get me out of here! You around me now? You make a sound. <laughs> what the f was that, bro? What man? This something's just falling off here. Who's that? I don't know, but you got like five seconds. <laughs> the ghost just slapped him. Touch me, bro. What the? Something's wrong with Carl. He's always holy sh man. We need to. Go you get me in the car, right now, Joe. Bro, I just seriously, someone just whacked me, no joke. I heard something being thrown or something, and I was like, come on, and then someone just whacked me, no joke, as if someone just punched me in the chest. Me. They go try to slap begins some sense in out as he feels something touching his leg. A candle then falls onto the floor, but scariest of all, something unseen slaps Carl on the chest. The violent smack is actually loud enough that the audio can be heard on camera. I heard it. <laughs> I'm like, cut the cameras off, we're leaving, we're leaving. And with that, Carl is done. In abject terror, he frantically struggles his way out of the rope, binding his legs and wrists. So did the paranormal investigators capture proof of the sinister ghost that haunt the ancient Ram Inn? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full video and many more investigations of haunted English locations over on the YouTube channel, Dark Territory. The yeah, House they, they are of the Burned man. man. Popular Mexican paranormal investigator Alberto Del Arco travels to a mansion in Manzanillo, Mexico. The massive hillside estate has been mysteriously abandoned for over 35 years. And it Places looks more like a hotel than a home. It's like four stories. It features stories. a pool, a spa area, and an amazing view of the ocean. So no one really knows why such a luxurious home would be abandoned for over three decades. However, urban legend says that one of the home's previous tenants perished in a mysterious fire inside the house. Because of this, locals refer to the estate as the quote, house of the burn man. The entire property is said to be extremely haunted. I feel like that place Once used to be Alberto really and his two cameramen make their way inside, they find the home's design a bit confusing. Todavía no le encuentro la forma en esta casa. Aquí está cerrado, aquí ya no hay más. No todavía existe. Atrás, atrás. No fue un animal. Alguna ave? Okay, pero eso vino de este lado. Soy yo claro. Madres. ¿Fuiste tú ahorita que pisaste? Sí. ¿O no? Sí. ¿Sí? Se oyó muy hueco, eh. Cuidado, sí retumbó todo. No se nos vaya a caer encima parte de esta propiedad porque sí se ve que está muy dañada. Mira, ven, 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 ven. Ven a ver esto. Cuidado. ¿Estás bien? Sí. Casi me estrella en la cara, güey, ¿lo viste? Sí, la veo, sí. Suma. Not gonna lie, I thought he found a dead body. While exploring the strangely constructed mansion, the team hears what sounds like a child's voice, followed by the sound of a breath. Even though the unexplained sounds are barely picked up by their microphones, the three explorers all seem to hear it very clearly. Next, Alberto has a frightening close encounter with a bat. And after that, the team just decides to continue their investigation outside as they check out the other buildings on the sprawling estate. This makes you wonder who built a place like that. Hola. No sé, güey, cómo que arrastraron algo. Buena noche. No creo que haya indigentes viviendo aquí, la verdad. Uy. Este enorme, este lugar. Atrás, 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 aquí. Eso fue aquí, eso fue aquí, eso fue aquí. Con cuidado. Puede haber animales, eh? Alberto and his team hear strange sounds coming from inside some of the buildings. It sounds almost like something heavy being dragged across the floor. Since the hillside the mansion sits on is almost impossible to access, 
Alberto thinks it would be unlikely that any homeless people could be living there. Instead, he believes that all of the sounds that he is hearing could simply be made by animals. But even though Alberto is very skeptical, what happens next is not so easy to explain. That drawing on the wall is creepy enough. ¿Qué pasó, güey? ¿Qué pasó? Ay, güey, a mí se me hizo ver alguien acá. Allá, ¿dónde? I saw ¿Dónde, dónde, dónde, dónde? ¿Dónde? ¿No habrá sido una sombra? ¿No habrá sido algún árbol? ¿Alguna rama? ¿Lo habrá trabado o no? Sí. Ok, habrá que revisar ese material. Alberto's cameraman captures what appears to be a white translucent figure on camera. Uh -huh. A little later into their investigation, and they capture something again. Hay más escaleras que van hacia abajo, eh. Cuidado. Mucho murciélago. ¿Todo bien? ¿Qué hay allá? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Todo bien? ¿Dónde? ¿Todo hijo de tuche? ¿Dónde, güey? ¿No salen los murciélagos? Huele muy malo. Huele muy, muy malo. Bats come flying out towards the cameraman, but it's not a bat that spooks him. A bizarrely shaped shadow seems to be staring back at him from just inside one of the rooms. Who is that? Let me check it out, but there's nothing there. The figure has vanished, leaving nothing behind but a very foul stench. Before long, the echoing sound of a raging party being celebrated somewhere nearby starts to make it impossible for them to capture clear, uninterrupted audio. Alberto and his team have no choice but to wrap up their investigation. However, right before they leave, they capture something truly chilling. Okay. Cuidado. Okay, ¿les parece si si bajamos? Digo, aquí no hay más que una pequeña explanada, no está tan espectacular como la de arriba quizá. Pero se me hace curioso que esté este piso, ¿no? I didn't say at the That's time not. they recorded this, the team says that they were completely unaware that someone or something seemed to be watching them from the tree line. They catch an unexplained figure on camera, just barely visible in the dark. Who is that? So, Yo, their face was white. Alberto and his two cameramen capture evidence of paranormal activity at the mansion. Is it possible that the ghost of the burned man, who the house is named after, was who watching Who is that? Them? Let me know what you think. You Their face was full white. Video over on the YouTube channel, like white. Alberto Del Arco. Just passing through. Paranormal investigators beyond the realm paranormal exactly. investigate the Alton Railway Station in airport. Staffordshire, England. The old train station was built in 1849 and it was eventually closed down in 1965. So, after over 100 years of travelers and workers passing through the station, it is now believed to be extremely haunted by the ghosts of deceased passengers and railway workers. The five investigators set up motion detectors on the platform close to what used to be the railway track. They start recording, and what they capture is truly bizarre. So that's just Nick setting off the motion detector. It only goes off when something walks in front of it. There you go. Straight after you, it's followed you. Let me do it one more time for you. I want you to follow me exactly where I come from. <laughs> you open bridge over time. Remember. We need to do that. <laughs> no. When lead investigator Nick walks back and forth setting off the motion detector, something seems to follow him. Then suddenly a super fast moving white mist seems to pass right through him, knocking him a step back. We need to do that. No. What's especially creepy is that Nick seems to both see and react to the mist as it passes right through his body. So did they capture real evidence of the paranormal? Could it be the ghost of a wary traveler still running to catch a long departed train? You decide. Couldn't imagine Check out this full video and more paranormal investigations over on their face. Alright guys, gonna do it for this video. You know, 
five scared ghost videos at the Mickey Puncher screen. Thankfully, I did not. Although uh, a few of those did kind of make me want to kind of turn off the video <laughs> just a little bit. If you guys enjoyed this one, please, like I said earlier, to remember to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified whenever I do upload. My name is Kim Sensei, and I'm out.